I remember my um, um, childhood has been quite lonely and um, I, I developed a, an idea fairly early that I had to work really hard to be to be loved and um, I think even in uh, in my early teen years I was always looking at self-help books and Dale Carnegie's book um, How to Win Friends and Influence People was sitting next to my bed for quite some time. And uh, yeah, so I got this idea that love was really conditional. It was conditional, it was something I, I had to change about myself to be okay with others. And that was kind of my story really all the way through my teen years and then into my ad ad adult years. And uh, I did all sorts of things, all sorts of workshops with the idea of improving myself being more lovable and um, yeah, then finally about um, six years ago I just stumbled across the um, balanced view in, uh, in Rishikesh and Candace was there and um, the first thing I heard her say was um, nothing needs to be done, you know the, the search is over and uh, that was just amazing for me to hear that. And uh, so I stayed on and um, did the 12 empowerments. And, uh, and really for the last four years I've been spent a lot of time with the community and um, doing trainings and using the, the four mainstays. And about two years ago in Sweden I committed to just to really start using my trainer. And, uh, and that was the first real relationship that I think I'd ever had that was unconditional was my the relationship with my trainer. It didn't matter what I s sent to him by email or what I said to him personally, it just made no difference to his um, exaltation of me. And, uh, and then um, a couple of years ago I, I left a long marriage and uh, once again I was supported through that, through my trainer and through the mainstays and uh, all the fears around once again being lonely and, uh, and you know, where do I go from here was, was completely blown away by the fact that I had this community and uh, I wouldn't be on my own. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, some big things have happened, you know, the ending, ending of a marriage, had to sell a house, buy a house or buy an apartment sell stuff, get rid of stuff, you know, that's all been going on over the last 12 months or so. But it's all been with support, even my frustration with the real estate agents, I could write to my trainer about that and we could come up with a bit of a plan on how to, how to get things moving here, you know, get this, how, how do we get this house sold. So it's very, very practical, you know, it's totally practical, it's not, uh, it's not all about, um, you know, watching the stars and thinking how lovely life is, it really is where the rubber hits the road, you know, that's where uh, I've found this incredible stability within myself, you know, through all of this turmoil and change. And uh, yeah, and so, and, and it's been with being with the community through all of this, you know, some, I remember last year when I was here in India, I was quite, um, I really sad, I was really sad because I, the relationship had just finally been officially fin ended. And I could be sad with the community, I could just be here and not feel I had to be anything different but how I was you know, with all of that. And that was amazing, you know, no one was running around saying, you know, cheer up, you know, you'll be okay, think of, you know, <laughs> you know look, look on the bright side, of, you know, of life and, you know, no, nothing, that didn't never happen, it just, you know, how, you know, how are you, great to see you, you know, and, um, and it's amazing how things just come, you know, the support that comes just from a simple question. Um, I remember I got sick in Sweden and, um, and suddenly all these people are coming to my room and asking me what do I need and food's arriving and I was leaving the next day and re transport was rearranged and a couple of guys gave up their car ride to, to let me have the car ride and, and to the station and, and um, yeah, just, just a, it's amazing how, how fully supported I, I, I am without really needing to do something. You know, because I've always been a bit of a Mr. Fix-It, you know, the handyman type guy that always runs around fixing things and uh, 
and I've been that lot that, that way with relationships and, um, and with myself. I never really thought there's much wrong with other people, but I really knew there was a lot, felt there was a lot wrong with me. And uh, but that's just dropped away with the with the mainstays and my relationship with my trainer, the community, short moments, of course, just bring it back to me, you know, so quickly. And uh, and uh, yeah, it's been. And loneliness, of course, it still comes up from time to time, but I really like the, per the person I'm alone with, so that really isn't such a problem anymore. <laughs> <coughs> so, um, so, yeah, I feel like I just have everything. I've got a beautiful community. I've got a lovely partner. I've got a, my family just seems to be getting better by the, by the, by the week. And, uh, you know, people just seem to be more and more beautiful and um, and life just flows along like a big river you know and uh, uh, and yeah and I, I can just relax and know that there's nothing I need to do to to change anything and just just be with it all and just allow it to to come and go as it, as it pleases as it needs to and um, yeah and just enjoy the whole the whole show <laughs>